Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. I'm at you on the Friday, 17th, um, January here. Quiet, quiet overnight after that little pop in ES at the close yesterday. Um, not a whole heck of a lot to talk about here. Euro uh, stuck mid range. Cable popped a little bit yesterday, but still also stuck mid range. Dollar Swiss is of interest, uh, as most of you know, who follow us on Twitter. Uh, we're short Swiss francs now. Um, looking for a turn in this market. We'll see if we get it. Uh, been notoriously a difficult pair for us in the last uh, 30 years. So, not getting our hopes up, but looks like a turn bar here on the dailies. Um, 57 the high overnight. We've made a new daily high. Collecting dollar Swiss um, looks like uh, a solid way forward. Dollar yen uh, broke this daily trend line. I don't know why this doesn't. Um, I don't know why this keeps doesn't save for me, but. All the banks in London are telling me that the Japanese are incredibly happy to sell here dollar yen. Um, 29 the high. We hit the line at 25. Uh, I don't know what to say. It's kind of broken. Did it break? You know, obviously, if any one of these points in the line moves by like less than a millimeter because it's such a long term line, um, very difficult to. Um, keep this exact point of it is is uh, there's a lot of sellers up here I would say a lot of local sellers Japanese ink is on the offer uh, who's on the bid who's buying uh, tactical traders long-term CTAs um, portfolio managers are buying technical traders are buying um, global macro guys are also buying just because of uh, the data that's coming out of the US and the stock market. Who's going to win here? Uh, I don't know. Like I said, we decided to uh, choose dollar Swiss instead of dollar yen. Um, we'll see. 29 the high, 12 the low. We're sitting here at 19. Very low energy. I really don't know what's going to happen with dollar yen. I would say this, a close above 25 today um, is bullish. Euro yen not doing much after making these new highs. Um, thought it might turn yesterday. We had this little blip down to 50, right? Uh, but we couldn't quite get through it. The stops are going to be below 20 um, for the longs. Not much to do here sideways. You know, this is going to make a new high if dollar yen goes. This is not going to make a new high if dollar yen doesn't go. Um, the cousin Swiss yen, uh, we're actually short. Part of our Swiss basket. Uh, we're, we're, we're more long dollar Swiss than we're short Swiss yen just because of the stock market and the, and the risk parameters out here. Uh, but you know, we've been talking about this Swiss yen for a while. It's, I can't remember the last time I've seen Swiss yen move 4.5% uh, in a straight line. Um, really, if you look at it from a distance, it's like 8% from all, from October. Swiss yen is usually pretty steady, um, especially when it's going up. When it goes down, it often plunges. Uh, and this is obviously it plunges on the yen side like all yen crosses it tends to plunge when it goes up it tends it often tends to um, be less steep so I don't know what's going on with Swiss yen obviously this has a lot to do with people's interpretation of you know this currency manipulation call out of the US we think it's poppycock. So, again, we're uh, we're short Swiss francs. We'll see how it goes. Don't need to belabor the point here. Uh, 
sterling yen not doing much again mid-range gonna be some risk above 40 um, we got retail sales out of the UK so 1030 let's keep an eye on that if retail sales misses uh, sterling yen might be our horse today Dollars are uh, cut rates yesterday. Didn't I thought we might take a look at 50. Um, and uh, depending on what happens with the stock market today, we might take a look at 50. Uh, things are grim in South Africa on so many levels. Um, growth is stunted. I don't want to get into the litany of of, uh, of terrible things going on in this beautiful country, uh, but let's suffice it to say uh, there's always plenty of reasons to sell Rand. 1450 is an interesting pivot. Um, we will be hunting around that area if we see it. Uh, watching the news flow, not much to do here. This could go either way. Um, for now so we just sort of sit tight but watching this 1450 level again it's kind of deja vu right we we watched 1450 for the whole fourth quarter last year um, and now it looks like we're going to watch it again for the first quarter this year funny funny how the effects works euro swiss on its knees can't get out of its own way a bearish bar yesterday not a turn bar I uh, haven't made a, a daily high in, in a new daily, proper daily high uh, in in weeks. Let's see what happens today. This will be the key um, for any turn in the Swiss franc. Euro Swiss will be the key. So, obviously, the key has not unlocked the door yet. Yesterday's high was 60. We're sitting here sort of dead in the water at 48. Aussie did a whoopsie doodle yesterday uh, looked a bit above 19 but just couldn't hold it plenty of reasons to sell Aussie I don't need to get into everybody knows the story there um, but we're mid-range here I don't, I don't know really what I don't know what to tell you both Aussie and Aussie yen were sort of epic failures yesterday when they had every reason to go higher with the risk on they did not sort of tells me that uh, left hand side is the, is the weak side in Aussie Swiss yen we talked about have not made a new daily low today until we do we can't really get like crazy excited on this um, euro sterling these highs are now very very important right 86 to figure far far away nothing to do here we're not going to certainly not going to be short euro sterling um, bearish day yesterday though but again mid-range so so nothing to do sit on your hands there uh, kiwi nothing to do cad nothing to do we do have um, foreign securities purchases out of can out of Canada uh, I kind of like to watch that just to see what's going on with investment in Canada but usually is not a not a massive driver so not not much to do Eurocad we've been beating the drum on the long side but it hasn't really panned out we scratched that yesterday and now we've just kind of given up on this idea we're just gonna wait for some more um, stronger story or price action gold um, doing nothing no reason to be trading gold at uh, 1556 equities 23 high 16 low uh, the entire move was the last hour uh, yesterday we were out skiing last night so I wasn't at the desk I imagine this was um, sort of news of, of uh, stimulus out of the US tax cuts uh, again I wasn't paying super close attention I'd just be careful uh, in equities everybody knows to be careful uh, it's sort of upside down bizarro world there so be super careful Bitcoin uh, we like playing this on the long side still um, 
I had some big transactions, a billion dollar Bitcoin transaction that went through at the left hand side and here we are at the new highs again. We really think Bitcoin's gonna gonna make a new high um, through these fourteen thousand over the next uh, coming sort of couple of months. So um, Bitcoin looks very interesting to us, as we said on Monday. Finally, crude, no idea. I mean, not really much to do here. Could go higher, could go lower. Um, the the trend now after this week, after that sort of false war, uh, looks like lower. So maybe selling high ones on crude if you're gun to my head. I'm, I, I want to be short crude, but no position there. Focus here is on the Swiss franc. Um, let's see how we do. We'll be watching dollar yen, see if we can close above 25. Um, we'll have to just see see how that goes. We might um, we might get a bit frisky uh, with the yen if we make a new high uh, above 29 today. But again, looks kind of quiet. I don't. It's, certainly in Europe, it's going to be quiet. We have we have core inflation data out at 11. Uh, as I said, retail sales out of the UK at 10.30. And then housing data, industrial production, and uh, capitalization, and Michigan uh, for a Friday afternoon special. So here, there we are. Uh, Swiss franc is in the crosshairs here. Uh, a lot of people are watching this dollar yen. And we shall see if equities can hold on to these gains uh, going into a Friday. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Wish you a good day trading ahead. And uh, I will catch you all on Monday. Ciao.